uh, different, definitely different. <laughs> and uh, I think it's great the way we bounce back, especially this this week. I think Coach Kiffin mentioned a little bit just about how we practiced and how we were able to shut out all the noise and all the distractions, uh, you know, from what people were saying. Um, and proud of how our guys played today. Uh, on defense, they uh, played lights out. Uh, didn't allow a touchdown in our offense. I thought our offensive line and you know, the running game was, was on fire. So it was a good way to, to bounce back from last week. Silas, did the uh, offense run the ball really well today? Can you talk a little bit about the line and the running backs? Oh, uh, well, I think they had their, their best week of practice. Uh, you know, those guys came out firing. And, uh, you know, we really hit them in the mouth from, from the first snap. And uh, we didn't try to let our, our foot off the pedal. TJ, similar on, on defense with seven sacks as a, as a team, your interception. Did that start in practice with, after the Stanford loss, how you guys came together? I think it started right after the game, after the Stanford game. Uh, we just had a mad team. Um, you know, after that, you know, we just didn't let up, we didn't stray apart as a team. You know, we stayed together, even though people were trying to pull us apart, and we stayed together and just practiced real hard this week, making sure that we never have to feel that feeling again. And the only way we can do that is by practicing uh, practice last week. Everybody's kind of talked about that, about staying together. Or on defensively, how did you guys do that? What was key there? Uh, we just had to keep on, just listen to our coaches, just take what we, with, with, what they're telling us. We got great coaches. They don't put us in a position to make plays. This all comes down to execution. As long as we have the confidence, knowing that we're going to execute, and not just execute, execu execute violently and, and play mad, just like we played this week, and making sure we, you know, we get to the quarterback. If they do catch the ball, keep it in front of us and come up and tackle. Don't give up the big play. And that was just the, that's, that, that was just the theme of this game. Yeah, are you happy with the uh, passing game? And can you talk about your own performance today? How would you? Evaluate. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy. Uh, you know, I'm not looking out every week to try to get, uh, you know, stats or to get a flashy game. And I'm happy with how, with how the offense performed uh, to a certain extent. Um, I think we left a lot of points on the board in the first in the first half, uh, just in terms of some of those drives, especially that first drive uh, in the red zone and, you know, the, the touchdown that got called back. Uh, so just little things here and there. I mean, we were, we were moving the ball today, which I was happy with. Uh, I think we're a lot better on third downs. Um, and, and I mean, if, if defenses are going to stay back, pay, play cover two shell, and force us to run, uh, you know, then then we got to do it, and that's that's what we did today. In, in a, in a swim. Yeah. How often did they blitz today? Uh, it didn't seem like a whole lot, um, not nearly as much as last week. Um, they had a couple times when they were uh, we call it radar, where they're all moving around trying to confuse you, but then they just played a cover two shell. Um, so. Didn't seem like too much. Were you surprised given how much success Stanford had doing that? They didn't try to do the same thing. I think they were trying to protect against the pass, um, and that was kind of evident. Coach um, Kiffin has said that this bye week comes at a good time because he senses you guys are kind of tired after camp and after this run of road games. How do you guys see it in terms of this bye I, week? I, I wouldn't say we're tired. I would, I would say it does come at a good time, but um, I wouldn't categorize our team as, as being tight or, or run down or anything like that. You can see, you know, at the locker room at the game, guys are guys are finishing plays. Um, there's there's energy out there even at practice. Uh, guys are guys are having a good time and so um, I think it's good, you know, whether that's for injuries or for just getting more timing down with, with each other, uh, it comes at a good time. Silas, I know this is your first year here, but what, what was Kip like this week? Uh, he was enthusiastic, energetic, uh, and we fed off that as a as a unit offensively and defensively. Uh, and, and that's all you ask for from, from your coaches to 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 be uh, energetic and, and be excited and you know we fed off each other and it came with the results today. He was, he was taking some bullets this week too, right? I mean, not wasn't just people cut shut uh, your team, right? Yeah, everybody was, everybody was. But uh, you know, we can't let the, the outside distractions get us down. We bounced back this this week, and I couldn't be more happy. Was Matt, like you said, you envision the the running game being like between you and Curtis. Absolutely, and. Uh, you know, shout out to the whole line and, and shout out to, to Curtis for, for being a great teammate and allowing me to, to, to be his running mate. You know, it says a lot to him. And, uh, it says a lot about him being a, his, his character and, and, you know, he's a, a good man. Matt, have you, have you gotten over the disappointment of last week? I mean, does one win do it or is it? 24 hours does it. Yeah, I mean, something I said that on Tuesday, you know, when you take 24 hours on wins and losses, I'll take this, enjoy it for 24 hours. I watched the film on Sunday, you know, when everyone's together. And then, um, you know, we have Monday off, but by Monday, you know, you're coming in, doing rehab or whatever, and watching film, and, and you're already on to the next one.